Hey guys, welcome to the fourth hacking tutorial from TechRoos. This is Paxi and let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be learning some reconnaissance techniques. Reconnaissance or information gathering is the first and probably the most crucial step in any penetration test. So before we can start launching our exploits towards our target, we need to collect as much data as possible about it. So I'm going to show you some techniques as well as some tools that will make your life a little easier when you're actually out in the field. Before we get into any of it, I need to explain to you that there are two types of reconnaissance techniques. First is passive and second is active. In this video tutorial, we'll only be covering passive information gathering. So passive reconnaissance involves browsing through the website and reading their white pages. White pages are generally information about their product and architecture, anything that you guys seem noteworthy about your target. So the first thing you guys want to do in passive reconnaissance is open up your terminal and type in who is command who is will yield all the results of a specific target of a specific website sometimes even sensitive information such as the email address of the person who registered the particular domain so let's just type in who is google.com and hit enter all right so you can see all this data has been outputted to us so what who is command gives you is a domain id and a lot of stuff such as phone numbers and even in some cases the email of the person who registered it like i said so this information can come in handy when you want to social engineer a person this tutorial is not for attacking google or any other website it's just for spreading the knowledge so let's just clear this out and the second thing i want to tell you guys is about shodan open up a browser and type in Shodan.io Shodan is a search engine much like Google but the difference is it will yield you all the ports and services that a particular client is running. The best thing about Shodan is that it will give you the details of anything that is connected to the internet. CCTV cameras, smartwatches, tablets, mobile phones and in some cases refrigerators or smart refrigerators. So what you guys can do is type in facebook.com or any other target website. This is just for information purposes. So I'm just going to type in Facebook and hit enter. So as you guys can see, it yields all the IP addresses that are in any way attached to facebook.com. So this is all the details that it will give you SSL certificates, etc. One thing you can do is go to the settings option of your browser. Click on add-ons and search for Shodan and install. Why I'm installing an add-on when we can go to the website is because of a very simple reason. Just go to any website you want, any target website, any particular website and click on this. Ah, see you guys get the port number that this server is particular server is listening to a little bit of who is details and for further detail you can just click host details and it will give you more details about this particular target even the map value so if you guys can scroll down it will tell you more about the certificates that this guy is running in some cases you might get the key encrypted of course and this is the ssl certificate I will tell you more about SSL certificates in the upcoming videos. So don't worry about that. So the next thing I want to tell you about is Google hacking. Now what is Google hacking? A journal user uses a search engine in very different ways than a hacker does. So I'm going to show you how we can target and refine our results in specific ways. So what you guys want to do is select target website and type in site colon whatever the site is facebook.com site okay keep in mind i have put a minus sign over here www.facebook.com hit enter so as you guys can see this command yields all the subdomains of facebook.com what we do is we search for facebook.com and we minus the results that include www. so we've got research.facebook developers.facebook canvas.facebook and others this will help you a lot in further as you go further into the research of your target. So the next thing you guys want to do is go to netcraft.com. 
all right we are into netcraft.com scroll down and type in the target website i'm going to hit enter now this will yield you all the facebook.com domains so what you guys are interested in site report so click over here and wait for it to load okay so the report of the facebook.com has been loaded you guys can see all the details that it will point out the hosting country latest performance graph we can open it in new tab and you can scroll down you can see how this facebook server is hosted apparently they are using linux obviously and the risk factor is obviously zero because it's a multi billion dollar company now you guys can explore through all this i'm going to be telling you in very brief details in the upcoming videos so let's just scroll up and the last thing i'm going to tell you is about archive.org so let's just type archive.org in our browser hit enter all right guys now what archive.org is does is it documents every website throughout the years so you can find out how the website has evolved let me show you how it works uh we can type in google.com hit enter all right it will show you all the timelines so you guys can go down to any year and hit select all right guys all these blue markings are all the days when it was the refreshed documented so let's just go to 1st january 2005 and hit enter and this is how it looked in 2005 saying in january the old logo and everything so we can scroll through from here all right guys this is it for today's video don't forget to hit like subscribe and all that good stuff thank you for watching see ya next